Hello everybody, this is the Benjinator, and you are watching Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part 22, and man, it has been a little while since I've actually made a video. I was able to sneak one in yesterday, but uh, if you couldn't tell by the sound of my voice, I was a little bit tired, and so I was going to keep doing videos, but I decided not to. But now, it's the weekend, uh, it's a lot less busy than last weekend, and so I should be able to hopefully make a lot more LPs this week and kind of cruise through the game. So, uh, first of all, let me just show you something. I switched party members, I might have mentioned this last time, uh, through and we got Ayla now, of course, who carries a fist, and that cannot be replaced the entire game. Although you actually get to a certain level, I think, later on, and it gets uh, replaced with, like, the Iron Fist or something. I've never actually gotten it, and I may or may not do that in this LP, level up that much, but we'll see. Anyway, so she's got a permanent weapon, but she, it definitely packs a punch. She's pretty damn powerful. And then, uh, of course, Marley, what I gave her is the Sage Bow, uh, which is an upgrade from the Robin Bow. We got the Flint Edge for Chrono, um, and three Rock Helms, by the way. And we got a Stone Arm and a Ruby Gun. So, uh, all these characters got equipment from the Trading House. And what I'm going to do, just briefly, is uh, show you uh, the, the, the Trading House and exactly what I did. Because off-screen, I actually went to the Training Ground, got some more of those, those fangs, those petals, those horns, and those feathers. And uh, let me just, uh, you talk to this guy, and you can actually form combinations, and you'll get different items. And so, actually, if you talk to this guy, um, okay, not that guy, sorry. Uh, he just, this, this dude, I think, just will sell you some, uh, some mid-tonics and so forth. But let's, uh, let's get a couple more of those, about 31. Sure, why not? And uh, let's, while we're at it, let's, let's sell some of the old stuff. So, blah, 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 blah. All this stuff. Well, I mean, some of this stuff is actually still pretty useful, but it, it comes pretty obsolete later on, so... Yeah, you don't, you don't really need this anymore. Might as well get as much as possible. And, uh, yeah, we'll hold on to those for the time being, but... Anyway, so, if you talk to the guy next to this dude, uh, you'll get some valuable information. Uh, so he says there's many th things for trade, and if you hit yes, you want to know the items, he'll give you the combination. So, uh, Ruby Gun, Sage Bow, Stone, and Arm, as you can see, you got Petal and Fang, Petal and Horn, Petal and Feather... And, uh, you know, on the next page, you have the Flint Edge, the Ruby Vest, the Rock Helmet. So all that stuff, if you give the old man three of one item and two of the other, then you can get that item. And it, you can kind of mix it up, too. You can give him, like, two petals and three fangs, or three fangs and two petals. And it, do it doesn't matter. It'll still match up the same way. So, yeah, you can also get Ruby Vests here, but I'm not really too worried about those. Uh, a little bit later, they are a little bit more, a little bit more helpful. And much later in the game, there is going to be an item that takes up ten of each that you'll definitely need. So for the time being, let's actually go to uh, where, let's go to this forest because this is one place that we haven't gone to. We're trying to figure out exactly what happened to our gate key. Let's see if there's any clues in here. So, um, oh look, there's uh, there's that Kino guy. Let's talk to him. What does Kino say? Uh oh, did he get caught doing something? <laughs> uh oh, she's gonna beat you up. That's not good. What? You did, Kino. Does it mean we have to fight Kino? Why'd you take our stuff? Ah, oh, he's jealous. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa, mellow out, Ayla. It's not cool, man. Uh, oh, Ayla doesn't take any crap. Uh, stop being so mopey. God. Not very manly, are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it, it, that's easy enough. If this guy just took uh, took our stuff and all you need to do is slap him in the face and he gives it back, that's pretty good. Aw, oh, he's apologizing to us. Yes, give us our stuff back. Um, reptite steak? Oh, no. <laughs> Kino, you can't even steal properly? You can't hold on to your loot? Ugh. All right, so this is the part where we go through uh, a couple of those trees over there. Yep. All right, Ayla's going to come with us. And Kino is going to incompetently protect the village. Well, geez, if he can't steal properly, what thinks, it makes us think uh, he can defend the village? Yep. Okay, so Ayla don't die, otherwise he's going to become the chief, and that would be too bad. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get Chrono stuff back. All right, so now we're going to go through this forest and hopefully find something. So we got a mid-tonic, which we have plenty of at the moment, and now we're going to descend. And, oops, we got some uh, some new enemies here. Uh, the gold eaglets. Uh, and you'll see that these uh, 
These, this is kind of an interesting enemy, but we do get to see Ayla in combat, which is pretty nice. You get the gold eaglets, and you do enough damage, they actually turn into red ones, I believe, which are fire elemental. Uh, I don't think the gold ones are actually of any elemental, but if you do enough damage, as Ayla just did, um, it kills it automatically. But if you do just if you do just kind of halfway damage, which you'll see in just a sec, they actually turn into red eaglets, which are a little bit more powerful. So, and unfortunately, I can't show you their HP at the moment because we don't have Luca in our party. But yeah, they throw fireballs at you like that. It's uh, a little bit of a nuisance, but it's not too bad. Yeah, the only thing that's a pain about these guys usually is just the length of their animation. If you can deal with that, you're in good shape. Yeah, but Chrono with his new fancy flint edge. Good for him. Good for him, I say. So yeah, those are some of the enemies that you find here. Uh, they're, again, they're, they're a little annoying, but not too bad. They're self will revive. So actually, this particular little dungeon isn't too long, but the one that's afterwards is a little bit more intensive. So, there's something to keep in mind. And of course, we've got a mid ether, ether, whatever you want to call it. Uh-oh. Now we're being ambushed by a koala. And another koala. So that's kind of too bad. Um, okay. Well, this could this could potentially be a problem. Alright, so let's fight these dudes. The koalas, the killwallas. And I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, so we actually learned a new tech right there. A uh, new double tech between uh, Marley and... Uh, and Ayla, so this is actually a drill kick, which combines rollo kick with, uh, with I, I believe, I forget, I forget exactly what it is, but yeah, anyway, that's kind of cool. It's definitely something that's uh, that's useful, drill kick. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I think it's between Chrono and Marley, my bad. So, anyway, just something to keep in mind, something to something to try out. So you just run behind here, these trees. This, this place can be a little bit difficult, but you can eventually get it down. Anyway, so now we got some more enemies. Ooh, a winged ape. That's gonna be that's gonna be quite a trip. So this winged ape is actually not that difficult. Uh, yeah, you just you just have to hack away at him. There, he has a cousin later on that's a little bit more powerful. But this guy, he throws you against rocks. He does some damage to you, but that's uh, really not too bad. Um, especially if you have the oh, oops, I accidentally used cure. <laughs> But I guess that helps a little bit. Gives her a nice little HP boost. Yeah, Cure will definitely be a lot more useful later on. Just because it, it does heal quite a bit of HP. So, hooray for that. Uh, anyway. So, Marley gets a level up. That's fantastic. Uh, not exactly sure why I decided to bring Marley along. But it, it, it certainly can't hurt. Uh, there are definitely worse things to do. Like having a, a party member that's dead the whole time. That's absolutely no fun whatsoever. So anyway, we just go through here. This is actually, yeah, like I said, it's not a long dungeon. It's just, it's kind of awkward and oblong. Um, it's kind of, everything's compiled into one thing. And what you want to make sure is you want to go down here, where the chest was, and then run up in this direction. And that will, that'll get you to where you want. Uh, this is kind of frustrating, because actually the music uh, has cut out on my playback, but hopefully you still guys can hear it. Anyway, let me just take care of these guys, and I'll be right back in a second. All right, perfect. So... Uh, defeat those guys using the same technique as last time just if you run to those little dinosaur dudes just use thunder on them and it reduces their defense which is uh, very useful in that regard um, makes it so the battle takes a little bit less time but overall those those I guess there are runners are not that hard later on you fight uh, more difficult enemies versions of that name called leapers and those guys are a pain but here they come again so let me just uh, take care of those dudes all right, awesome. So we got rid of those runners, and we should almost be out of here. I think that there's, yeah, there's another treasure chest over here, which I just have to climb up this little vine, and uh, uh, this dude, yeah, this <laughs> this chest right here, got to heal. Uh, these items are not particularly important, but oh crap, it's a winged ape. He's back, and he's menacing. So let's take care of this dude. Oh look, there's a killwalla as well. So take care of these guys. All right, perfect. Yeah. Pretty easy enemies in here. Uh, they get a little bit trickier in the next dungeon, but you want to grab this one. Again, all very basic items. Nothing, nothing to... Oh, look, there's another chest over there. Almost forgot about that. I think if you go this way... Ah, oh, okay, we're, we're going backwards. I just missed that chest is all. Uh, that does happen sometimes. It's because of the shadows and sort of just the, uh, the layout and the tile sets of this particular dungeon, it can be a little bit hard sometimes to properly find the items, so... Anyway, let's go down here. 
and grab ourselves. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And a mid either. Ether. Ah, I'm going to keep mixing up the two. Anyway, if you just go down south here, you are out of the woods. Uh, quite literally. Right, right here, so the forest maze, and then you just walk over here, and you go into the reptite layer. So, what waits us in the reptite layer? Well, you'll find out in the next episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger with the Benjinator. And hopefully I will find a way to get the sound working on my end of the playback. But I'm hopefully, hopefully you guys will be able to hear it so there won't be that much of an issue. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.